TBG gang, you know what I'm saying? We on the way up, y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all been real crazy on the channel for me, man. Y'all been going real crazy. So, first things first, man, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. I'm trying to get this thing going up. Drop a like, man. I'm trying to drop these bangers back to back. All right. My hair all up in my face today. So, y'all not here to hear me talk. I've been talking to y'all. If y'all be up in the community tab or if y'all check it out, I'm planning on building. I was going to build uh, my Radical Firearms. But I came to the conclusion that I think I'm going to leave that one kind of stock since it's like my first AR. I just put the attachments and stuff on it. All that stuff. I think I'm going to just leave that stock for it being my first AR. I kind of want to just keep it, you know what I'm saying, normal so it could be like a keepsake. Forget all that. So, that rifle, I got it for 430 and it was it's normally 630 right now. Got a nice build on it. We are about to get started on our first custom build. So, this one, I'm going to need to do some more talking about the receiver. Big stuff first. Let's, let's go. You know what I'm saying? You know I gotta bring y'all with me. I gotta bring y'all with me. This is Spikes Tacticals. They're multi-caliber. Assembled lower. I got this for 317. Get y'all close-ups. Yeah, I got this for 317. You know it got the nice engravings on the handle. It got the adjustable stop. It got two two uh two lengths on there. Good just two. That's one and that's two. It already has the pre-built in sling for it. And this one's kind of assembled, just all you gotta do is slap a, a upper on it. So I'm not gonna do the binary trigger on this one actually. I'm thinking about doing a single stage trigger. I might replace this trigger with like a flat one. Do a single stage. My actual plan with this guy is I'm planning on making a, uh, just your kind of, your normal, your normal, uh, custom AR-15. Not really going to be super custom. It's kind of a kit I'm putting together. So this lower was all one kit. This was like 317. And then I'm buying a, um, a kit, of uh, an upper kit to slap right on top here. So I can have like my first, you know, nice, uh, AR-15. So I can see the difference between a budget AR, you know, like a, a kit AR that you know you kind of put together and put like more expensive parts on so yeah we for sure just gonna be upgrading the trigger I want a single stage trigger like this guy so it, it's, it's not that crazy so it's on this is safety you got the safety right there and then this right here with sim auto you see how much let me see so you guys can see that it, it's not crazy I might actually leave this trigger I like it like I actually like it a lot I like it a lot. So I think I'm gonna shoot the 223 and 556 five, through this and kind of replace it. I'm gonna leave my other AR just for the range and have fun, but this might be the one that I got some classes with and all kind of stuff like that. So yeah, so enough of that guy. My hair is getting all over my face, y'all. Now this is what I really want to talk about. We're gonna be doing a beer a build series on both of these, but right now this is what I want to talk about right here. So you have Spice Tactical. It's the same lower that's on that one, but it's bare. So I can do literally whatever I want to this one. So I'm going with a full, we're gonna do a full custom build on this guy right here. And so this is the one I was talking to you on the community tab also about too. I really just did these ones cause these ones are in stock and I kind of liked it the way how they looked and materials seem pretty good. And uh, they sell them in my local firearm store. So I was like, let me go get those. I was actually there to pick up the, um, to pick up this one. I ordered this one, but they had this one in stock, bare, and I was like, that's perfect. Cause I'm gonna build this one strictly for 300 blackout. I think I wanna make a pistol out of this one, so. I'm gonna make a big build series on this. I'm gonna do it in big chunks, like one video. It's probably just gonna be in the lower together. And I'm probably gonna throw it in one big montage, like I said I would, of me just building this thing out. So, I plan on having this guy done by February, by early February. And I plan on having this one done sometime April, March is March. I don't know. I'll see April, March for this guy. But thinking about running strictly 300 blackout, like I said, I want to put the binary trigger in here. I'm going to put a binary trigger on here. I got to do some more research about putting adjustable stock on there because, you know, I, I got to see if the ATF going to be tripping about that. Adjustable stock. I, think that, I don't think they don't like the stabilizer braces, braces, though. I don't think they were tripping. Uh, I'll do more research, but. That's the plan, and we're gonna get a, uh, we're gonna custom everything up top to the handguard. I don't know exactly what parts I'm choosing yet, but I know for sure that I want this to be anywhere between, I think I want a 10.5 inch uh, barrel or a 7.5 inch barrel. I shot my friend Sig Rattler, it had a 5.5 inch barrel, it was...
a little bit too much. I think I want to go either 8.5 or 10.5. I'm really leaning towards the 8. I'm in a 10.5 on this one. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much all. Man, I was giving y'all an update on what we got going on with the bills. I'm gonna give y'all one more quick look. Uh, these guys close up. So the spider not on this. It's on the other side. The spider is on this side. But man, I like I like I like this a lot, man. I like this a lot. You know. Yeah, I got some plans with these, man. I also just got done fixing. Uh, I just put the stuff on the Mossberg 590, my shockwave. Some stuff on that. The video's about to drop on that soon. I got to take that back to the range and play with it again because my first time going to the range with my buds. We could not aim that thing, man. You don't even know what the heck you're aiming at, so. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm shooting at, bro. Yeah, we got. I got some stuff on that guy, and uh, I want to shoot my 21 some more. I want to shoot the radical some more because I posted did my 500 review, 500 round review on it. But you've seen my last couple videos, I couldn't even shoot it the way I wanted to. I want to say we're about a little bit over 300 rounds into the AR, so. I'm gonna shoot some more rounds through the AR and I gotta shoot the 21 some more. So, I mean, I got a lot of stuff coming to the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Keep up to date. Turn on the post notifications. Hit the like button. Drop a comment down below what's some of the stuff y'all like or I should check out for my builds. With all that being said, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy TBG Vlogs, your boy Taz. I'm out. Peace.